this is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg, and we welcome you to the opening game of the 1991 NBA Finals. It's the Chicago Bulls out of the East against the Los Angeles Lakers out of the West in what should be an exciting best of seven series. But really, Clark, the story here is Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan facing each other in these finals. Kevin, it really is the story. I mean, they've met only 12 times since Jordan joined Magic in the NBA back in 1984. Now it won't just be a one-on-one -on -one battle, but these two will be at the heart of every. Thing. First for the Lakers, the question is, how do you stop Jordan from pouring in basket after basket? I'm not sure they'll find an answer to that question. Well, when it comes to Jordan, really, you can't look to stop him. You can only try to slow him down. But the other side of that equation, Clark, as you mentioned, is Magic Johnson. And he'll cause a lot of matchup problems for the Chicago defense. And it starts, Kevin, with his size. I mean, he's so tall and talented with the ball that he's a driving force of the offense. I mean, he runs the Laker offense. Chicago will probably end up putting a bigger guard on him, and then he'd probably look to eat up the smaller guards in the post. We might actually get to see the Jordan Magic matchup because of that. But even if that isn't the case, you can expect them to try to one-up each other, not every trip down the floor, but throughout the game. Oh, this has the makings of Clark, I think, a fantastic NBA final. I'm right with you there, partner. And uh, let's go to Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have for us? Kevin, some serious questions about James Worthy's availability and his ankle heading into this game. When I spoke to him earlier, he said his ankle is improving. It doesn't look to be close to 100%, but hopefully they'll be able to treat it enough to where he can get through the game. They are better off with him, even if he's not 100%, guys. Thanks, Doris. And Worthy, such a big part, Clark, of this Laker offense. Boy, Kevin, losing him would hurt not only because he's a great finisher and fills the lanes and is a versatile defender as well, but he's a warrior. He's championship tested. So they'll miss him if he's not able to go at full strength. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. We've got Divots. Worthy out there with Perkins. Then it's Magic Johnson and Scott. Clark, one thing to note in this game one at Chicago, the Bulls have been great at getting out quick. here at home you're so right Kevin it is rare if they don't jump out ahead quickly in this building they do a terrific job of coming out strong and getting that crowd revved up now here's Johnson pass to Worthy guarded by Pippen down to five on the shot clock The open shot by Johnson. It's a little short, but gets the friendly roll. On defense, the Lakers. They trail by three. Now Grant. Pippen a screen on Perkins. Shoots from 12. No good from Grant. The Lakers off to a slow start. It's a three-point game. Here's Worthy. No good. Some solid defense from Pippen. The Bulls leading by three. Maxson with the ball. Outside Jordan. Dumps it off. Pippen. Outside Jordan. Shot clock at three. And good with the shot. And the whistle blows for the contact and a chance for one more. Jordan picking up right where he left off against the Pistons last round.
and some changes for Chicago. Purdue comes in for Bill Cartman. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for John Paxson. No good, and they don't get the three-point play. Clark, so far during these playoffs, we've seen Jordan really ease into the game. Yeah, good strategy for him. He's in, he's tended to keep a low profile in the early going, allowing other guys to get involved, and then he stepped on the gas in the second half, acting as a distributor in the first part of the game and then scoring later. Kind of giving the team what they might need in any given game. Yep. Johnson, good. The Magic looks just as great as he did in that game six so far. The Bulls leading by three. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, gentlemen, Michael Jordan has been trying to downplay the Magic versus Michael matchup, repeatedly saying it's the Bulls versus the Lakers, not just two people competing. But when he talked to the media this morning, he relented just a bit. And you could see that look in his eyes, and he knew this would be about the marquee matchup. Makes you think he's been sandbagging a little bit coming into this series, gentlemen. Thank you, Doris. And Clark, they can say it's the Lakers against the Bulls all they want, but really the world is watching Michael against Magic. Well, it's two of the best players of all time going at it. I know it's a little early to say that about Jordan, but he's shown it so far, and a title would certainly help cement that claim. On defense, the Lakers. Scotty Pippen unable to get his shot to go. Taking two shots. First one falls for him. Clark, this will be an ongoing story for the series. Does Worthy's ankle affect him? It has to, Kevin. I mean, he just can't be the same. He won't be the same. Against Portland, he was hesitant to put the ball on the floor. His go-to move is attacking the hoop from the top of the circle, and he just can't do that if the ankle's bothering him. So both teams changing it up here. Here's Johnson. 49 seconds left in the first. Perkins with it. From about 19 feet, the rebound by Purdue. The Bulls leading by five. Now Pippen. And smash down. Does he make it look easy or what, partner? Trust me, that's not easy. Oh, I know it. I think he could climb over the backboard if he wanted to. Here's Johnson. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Johnson right side. And the Lakers with another miss. And here's Armstrong. Bulls with the early lead, and that's what they've become accustomed to here at home. Michael to shoot. And no good trying to get that one. First quarter of play wraps up. Bulls out front, up by seven. They've dominated the glass early on, and that's always a good sign. Rebounding is an effort stat, and they've shown tremendous effort so far. And we'll get back to the action right after this. Now the second quarter about to start. Clark seeing Worthy out there. He's moving so much better than he was against Portland. Yeah, he really is, Kevin. I mean, he just wasn't himself with that injury. In a big game like that, you know if he's healthy, he's putting up more than eight points. Here's Armstrong. Seven-point differential. So with Johnson on the bench, this is Mike Dunleavy's lineup. We've got Worthy. Devon's out there with Byron Scott and Joe. This is what happens when the defense lags. Wrong guy to give an opening to. Here's Scott. Smith outside. Here's Worthy. Michael Jordan grabs the miss. 
And back to Worthy. You could see him struggling with everything. Only going 3 of 12. That's just not him. Not at all, Kevin. Especially if you look at how efficient he's been from the floor throughout his career. But he does look better now and should be back to his old ways soon. And that spells trouble for Chicago. It does. The pick worked to perfection, and he had all the room he needed to get off the jumper. Smith against Armstrong. Back to Worthy. With the shot. Another miss by Worthy. And here comes Armstrong. Leads him with the pass. Good execution on the break leads to the nice bucket. Here's Smith. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. You think back to the last game of the Detroit series and Jordan was just a huge factor. Yeah, he was very much on top of his game. 11 of 17 shooting, 29 points, and that was just the beginning. He was a man on a mission and completely silenced that Detroit crowd. Teams deciding to change it up. Here's Brown, the jump off. Here's Worthy, and again, no good by the Lakers. Following up on Worthy Clark, that ankle seems to be bothering him. He's really not himself out there. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me, Kevin. I mean, he doesn't look very comfortable moving around, and he hasn't been the big factor for the Lakers that he normally is. And the deeper he gets into the game, the more that ankle most likely will tighten up. And fatigue could be a factor, too. Not a good sign for L.A. Looking at Perkins here, he really stepped up big in that game six against the Blazers. You know what, the Lakers might not be here now if he didn't have that big game. 26 points, 10 of 14 shooting. He was a force in the middle. Here's Jordan. He's got eight. They're playing them tight all the way up the court right now. Full court man-to-man -man deep. Defended by Scott. Here's Pippen. The shot misses, and the Lakers go with it the other way. You know, Clark, thinking more about Perkins with Worthy hurting, they needed him to be a big factor. Well, you figure they'd need somebody to pick up the slack, and it did happen that way. The bench helped out too, but you got to give credit to Perkins for putting his stamp on that game. You know, Kevin, all these rebounds allow them to attack the defense before they have a chance to get back and set up on deep. Again, the miss by Pippen. And here's Los Angeles. Trailing by 13. Johnson, the pass to Brown. Scott. With the wide open look. Jump shot is good that time. Here's Paxson. 2.07 left in the second. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. 